Yo, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm going to get right into it. I'm currently scoping out the area because I am proposing to Sydney in two days. Yes, you heard that right. I'm proposing. It's overdue. It's overdue. Um, I'm currently scoping it out. I've got uh, photographers involved. I got a florist involved, um, planners, you know, I really wanted to make this special. So I had to get out here and, you know, take a look at it, get everything set up, send them over the information. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited uh, to do this. You know, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And, you know, I'm so excited to share this and capture this and make it a memory. I know this is going to mean so much to Sydney. And I'm excited that we're able to share this experience with you all. So, um, yeah, very excited for this one. Boom. So... The process behind getting the ring, kind of a lot that goes into it, a lot of thinking, a lot of overthinking. Um, I knew what type of ring, you know, Sydney wanted. Uh, she would always, you know, show me, send me them. We would look at them together. So I knew exactly what I wanted or what she wanted and I wanted to get her. But um, there was so much that went into it, you know, like I did a lot of research, um, went through, you know, a bunch of different websites and then I finally found one that, you know, had great reviews, was, uh, you know, authentic, didn't have to worry about anything. It was, you know, the facts were there. So I went ahead, got it. Now the ordering of it was the scariest thing. Um, I kept getting updates, of course, of when the ring was going to arrive. I knew exactly when. And my biggest thing is like Sydney and I are here at the same time all the time. So I did not want, you know, the FedEx guy to knock on the door and her answer it. So it was literally me just running around all morning, waiting around, and I literally sat at the front door and I met the FedEx guy right away and um, like ran out. I was like, yo, back up, go over here, go over here, go over here. He was like, whoa, what's, what's going on? And I was like, dude, I was like, it's an engagement ring. And so crazy stuff, but obviously wanna show you guys. So look at my stash area. I figured I'd put it up so high to where Sydney couldn't even see it and where I have to use some assistance to get to it. Oh. See, she'll never find it. Still in the box and everything. Here we have it. Boom. Wow, it is so damn pretty. So she loves the oval shape. Um, the oval shape, you know, we went and looked at carrots and she really loved the three. Carrot, I think anything bigger would have looked way too big on her. But she loved the three carrot and, you know, the solitaire and just the placement, you know, of it being held. So this is exactly what she wanted. I think she's gonna love it. I wish I could have given this to her like weeks ago. I've had this for about three weeks now. Crazy. So obviously I wanna wear white. And I'm lucky because like Sydney, she always, she'll always match me, no matter what. If I'm ready first, she will always, you know, throw on, she'll look at what I'm wearing and then throw on something really similar. So my game plan here is to just get ready extremely early about an hour and a half early, say I've got to go run an errand, go to, you know, the grocery store real quick, and then I'll come back and I know that she'll be in something that is similar to mine. But my biggest concern and biggest is how do I fit this? All my jeans are, you know, I, I wear slim fit jeans. I like my jeans a little on the tighter side. So I don't understand how I'm going to keep this in my damn pocket. I do have these baggier jeans here. They're kind of the baggier look. But then, I mean, a white tee with that. I might just keep it simple and run with that.
I think, yeah. I like it. I like it. And then what she'll, I think, you know, pulling out the McQueens with it. That's the outfit right there. Boom. Easy. And then, so what's, what's cool about this too is that I'll be able to, these are like bigger pockets. So these are like heftier. They're like the oversized pants. So I'll be able to keep this in the pocket and it'll probably never show through a little bit, but it'll just look like it's keys or something. Back in the safe spot. Restaurants in here. Yes. Yeah. So we come in here sometimes. And Sheila, we came here for a birthday. And we like fell in love with this place. So we are at the Tampa edition um, at Channel Side in Tampa, Florida. This is called the Azure. This is one of the uh, three restaurants within the building. I mean, we, I called this morning and literally was able to book this. And this is like, this has exceeded my expectations. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. So the plan with this is afterwards. So, you know, after I propose, after, you know, we, make our phone calls, take the pictures and everything. I've invited, you know, family and friends to come. Uh, this is where we'll celebrate and have, you know, a couple drinks, a couple, you know, finger foods, and just enjoy the rest of the night. It's awesome. Wow. Man, so the importance of everything being perfect for this proposal was, um, that was the biggest key for me. Um, I want to make this as special as I possibly can for Sydney. I've always wanted this to be something that we can reflect on. So down to, you know, the photographers having, you know, video drone of it, um, hired a florist. I mean, just everything, even down to my haircut. You know, I walked into the barbershop and I told, you know, my barber, hey, I'm proposing tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I need the best haircut that you can put out. So I would say overall, like this being perf perfect and, you know, perfect, at perfect as a word is like what really is what I'm striving for with this proposal. But the story behind it is she was actually in my way at the gym and I told her to move the heck out of, no, I'm kidding. But um, she was in my way at the gym and she was doing a wall sit. So I'm over here, I was doing, what was I? I was doing dumbbell press. I was on the bench and I was getting up and I was trying to put away my weights, but she was in the way. So I just sat there and sat there and sat there. Finally, when she was done with her wall sit, she got up and I got up and put the weights away. And then she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I was in your way. Yeah, and then our first date was, we actually agreed to do one of the most, I mean, one of her favorite things, uh, going on a, on a walk. We went on a walk. It was probably about a, I like to joke around with her and say it was about 14 miles, but it was really probably about seven miles. We walked for seven straight miles, really got to know each other. Um, it felt like it was 20 minutes like the time just flew by but yeah that was our first date ever and i mean the feeling that i had after that walk and the feeling that you know she she's expressed to me that she had after that walk i mean it was just something that we both never felt before it was kind of like you know that it was like the confirmation like that's the one this is the one and I mean, it's, it's very hard to put into words, but it was just a feeling that we both have never felt before. So I knew I was in love with Sydney when, you know, there was nights that I would go back to my place and it's almost like, oh, uh, like it, it was, it was tough to sleep. It was just kind of tough to be away from her in a way. And like early on in our relationship, you know, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm like, you know, just overbearing clingy, but I mean, there was times at night where it was like, it was, we would hang out all day and like it, I would dread going home. So I would say that's when I knew that I was in love with her and you know, I didn't, didn't want to be away from her at all. Me and Mr. Adams, we actually went to a Bucks game last season. And I told one of my best friends that I was going to, you know, have that talk with him at that game, but I didn't, I don't know why. I just didn't feel like it was the right time for it. So as you know, I got more, I guess, secure in my decision, I reached out to him and he, he travels a lot for work. So he was out of town and I had originally planned to do this, you know, a couple months down the road, but then I was like, you know, why wait? Like, you know, why wait any longer? So then I went ahead and 
you know, gave him a call. I, I had to do it over FaceTime. I opened it up with, what up, Pops? You know, I would have loved to do this over dinner or, you know, over coffee or something. But with you not being back in town um, soon enough, I mean, we've got to do it at this point. He just started cheesing. And I was like, I'm sure you know where this is going. And sure enough, um, we had, you know, a very nice conversation. He spoke some, you know, really nice words that really touched me. And, you know, it means a lot to me, uh, you know, the way he spoke and the way that he trusts me and, you know, how highly he thinks of me. And the same with her mom. I had the same, you know, talk with her mom um, over the phone. And, you know, she spoke very highly as well. So I, I couldn't be happier with how both conversations went with uh, both of her parents. So the reason I picked this location. So first off, I've checked out numerous locations. Um, I've went to them and I just didn't feel it. You know, I'm, I'm the type of person I got to feel it. It's got to feel right. So I didn't I didn't feel it with those first couple locations. Um, one being outside of this place called the Don Caesar. It's a beautiful hotel over on St. Pete Beach. Um, but like I said, I didn't love it. So I knew I wanted to do it on a beach. Um, I knew that, you know, us being in Florida and I don't think that you can get a better propo proposal than on a beach, but um, I heard of this beach called Upham Beach, and it's it has like a, a secret garden to it. That's exactly what it's called. It's called uh, the Secret Garden of uh, St. Pete Beach. So I heard of this, and I was like, you know what, let's go check it out. I went and checked it out, and, you know, I felt that feeling. I mean, it's perfect. I know she's going to love it. Um, we've got the ideal spot within the garden. That's just going to be absolutely amazing. So that's what went in it for me with, with picking the location. All right, so showed y'all the ring. The outfit is picked out. Haircut, it's freshened up. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow, we will also be showing y'all and taking y'all on every step of the way. So I'm excited. Nerves are, nerves are here, but nerves are good. So good morning, good morning. It is 6.13 um, a.m. and I'm getting ready to head out on my morning run. Uh, I got a quick four miles this morning. Um, yeah, check out this little thing. Isn't this thing cool? It's like a runner's vest. So it's a place where I can keep my phone. You know, I could add water bottles on this. It's really cool. Sydney surprised me with it. So very, very neat. I like it a lot. I've always been the type to just hold my phone when I'm running. And I've like started to notice that like, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of like pulling on my shoulder. So this is very useful. Very, very useful. But yeah, I'm about to head out. Um, not really going to, you know, try to run super fast this morning. It's the end of the week. My knees, my ankles, everything's kind of, you know, feeling a little, a little used, overused this week. Um, so I'm going to take it easy and light. going to listen to my body. And yeah, I'll check in with y'all when I get back. We just wrapped up our run. It was four miles at a 7.34 pace. Seven minutes and 34 seconds. My fastest mile was seven minutes flat. <clears throat> Overall, a good run. I needed that. It was one of those runs where I started, I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. But we pushed through and we finished. So, time to get something to eat. I think I've got Chester back today. So, I'll see y'all there. So it's proposal day. I've already got my run in. We're now here at LA Fitness, gonna get a little workout in. Um, kind of a curveball, Sydney's gonna be here. But she has no idea still because, you know, she thinks that my guy's here just recording fitness stuff. So let's go get a workout in. Yeah, so, you know, the gym today, the gym every day really, I mean, it's therapeutic for me, but today I really needed it. I needed that extra workout after the run, the sauna, just, you know, to kind of settle my nerves a bit. We're here at the gym. Sydney's here. We just played it off so well that, you know, this is all just gym content. But she's literally here. She has no clue. Check her out.
when you go to do the sauna, just come over there. Hello. Yesterday, so I let her know that, I told her we were doing like real estate stuff. So. Yeah. So she was like, oh, I see y'all went to the addition. I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, we just kind of filmed the high rise and, you know, the buildings and stuff. She's like, oh, what are y'all doing tomorrow? I was like, I think we're going to record the run, maybe the workout. So she has it in her head that it's only strictly fitness. She has no clue. No clue. I'm so excited about it. So excited. The whole, like, dinner, like, hey, you know, let's leave at 430 because of traffic and whatnot. But... I haven't brought up the whole garden. I think I'm gonna do that on the way there. Like, hey, after dinner, we can go check out this garden. And then it's just the whole, I, I know she's gonna wear what I wear, but I, she looked up the place, it's, it's extremely nice. And I don't want her to like, I, I feel like I'm dressing down in a way. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Drop tape. I'm gonna do 20 in the sauna. What is y'all's plan? Probably trying to go grab some coffee. Uh Yo, so sitting here enjoying coffee with my guy and Sydney texts me and she's like, we need to take lots of pics tonight. So this is the perfect end for me to say yes, absolutely. We'll probably get uh, to the reservation a little early, mm -hmm. take some pictures there. And then I'm gonna say, then we can go to the beach afterwards. I know a really good spot. Boom. I said yes, so we will probably get to our reservation a little early. And then we could go to the beach after because we'll probably be done with dinner around 7.30, so that'll be perfect for the sunset. And then I'm gonna say, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna mention the garden. Boom. Wow, what a layup. Thanks, babe. <laughs> All right. What's going on, y'all? It is Scott Stockton. Uh, I am a photographer, wedding photographer. Uh, I'm kind of going to be Jason's boots on the ground here. We're at Don Caesars, you can see behind me. Uh, because he can't be here and he can't be everywhere, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of all the work he's done to set up this proposal, everything that all everything he's got in motion right now. So he's got me, uh, Paige Elizabeth photo is gonna be there. We're gonna be shooting, we're gonna be doing video. She's gonna be flying a drone, I believe. Uh, there's a florist that's gonna be there making everything look pretty. Um, and Jay, Jason's gonna bring her here. As I believe he told you before, Don Caesars, this is where they're gonna be having dinner. And a few miles down the road is where we're gonna be setting up everything. So, yeah, because he can't be here, because he can't be everywhere. I know my man's got crazy muscles, but he's not Superman, right? He can't be all the places at once. Yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that's happening from here on to the proposal. So come along with me. All right, it's your boy Chips Ahoy, Scott Stockton. Uh, we are out at the proposal spot. You can see it. Right over there, um, the florist and the, the ladies are over there setting up the roses. I believe there's some signs. That, can y'all see me sweating? Your boy, your boy out here melting. But uh, we're not complaining. Uh, I'm the MC, the master of ceremonies. Uh, Jason left me in charge, so we do have um, to set up some stuff. I'm going to kind of show you guys. E, all the things that the florist is doing, how she's setting up the roses and everything. It's really pretty down here. Uh, Paige Elizabeth photo is coming as well. So Jason has both of us out here doing photo and video. Uh, the proposal will be happening in an hour. Like we're getting close to it. Uh, yeah, let's see what the florist is up to. Setting it up out here. I'm the only one that's sweating. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how that's. I'm the, why am I the? I'm like, like I'm tripping. You guys are staying, looking pristine. With the maybe I got to be holding some roses. That might be it. I'm gonna let me grab some roses. I kind of wanted to tell you guys everything that Jason has been doing to lead up to this moment. Um, He's too humble, so he's probably not going to tell you all these things, but I'll, I'll, I'll dive in and tell you everything. He and I have been in communication for a hot minute, like weeks. He's been planning. He's like, should I do it here? Should I do it there? I'm going to take her to dinner here. 
bouncing ideas, uh, helicopter ride, no, not helicopter ride, I'm gonna take her here, and then maybe we'll go to a party. I think it was, he was balancing around like that because he, he wanted everything perfect. He knew how special uh, Sydney is to him, obviously. He knew how special this would be for her. So I think it's easy when like somebody means that much to you that you would try to think of every single thing in the world uh, to do for that person that you love. Like Love is special. We talk about this all the time. Um, it's the strongest force in the in the world so like when you find your person and you want to tell them hey I want to spend forever with you it's got to be perfect so I know that that's why he's probably been exhausting like every idea that you possibly could have to to tell somebody to spend forever with you and here's where we're at um, I've been with him the past two days I've seen the ring I've seen the hiding spot uh, I've seen um, his outfit that he's picking out been with him for the workout he's had yeah, tons of nerves he's been stressed out because everything's perfect um, obviously she's gonna say yes I mean he's a piece of man candy who's not gonna say yes to him um, but from the florist the plan the design of everything being laid out me being here Paige is coming she's gonna have the drone uh, I've never seen I've been shooting weddings I've been shooting engagements and proposals for a really long time I've never seen anybody go to this great lengths um, to plan this moment out for somebody so a uh, badge of honor to Jason um yeah he loved that girl so uh yeah i'm gonna keep showing y'all everything that's getting set up we're gonna we're gonna see the design of everything with the, with the flowers and uh then Paige is gonna be here we're gonna pick her brain and then i'm gonna have a camera on top of my camera to show us the behind the scenes of the proposal and uh yeah we got a proposal coming up she's gonna say yes but we'll all watch anyway right bye So they're coming. Thank you guys. Good little liar. Right yeah. Oh, I guess I should do this hand. Yeah. Oh, Show yeah. us the ring. <laughs> I bet the entire time in all those pictures, I was like, just, I don't even know what my face is. You can hear, beautiful. Okay, and then we got to get some ringage. Of photographers here. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> get some of that blingage. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna get that same shot. Got both of y'all looking here. One, two, three. Looking at each other. Okay, while you're there, uh, this is a question for Sydney. 
You guys are looking at each other. Actually, this is a question for Jay. When was the first time that she farted in front of you? No! <laughs> that is not even... <laughs> I'm trying to see tomorrow. Okay, that might be the first time, right? Okay, now you'll look at each other. I'm gonna have you take that hand. You'll put it on the side of his face and like kind of pull him in for a kiss. Maybe a little bit more on his neck. A little bit. There you go. Uh, rotate a little bit towards me. Uh, there you go. Just like that. Hold that. Beautiful. A little kiss right here. Okay. You want to? You want to do something? Okay. Can you dip her a little bit and get right here? Dip her. Oh, yeah. Watch her lean. Absolutely. <laughs> lean her this way a little bit, Jay. So, Jay, you, there, you there you go. There you go, perfect. Hold on. Facing that way. <laughs> My man, fifty grand. Hey, like your boy Chips Ahoy. You know what? There goes a ring shot. Let me do that one real quick. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold that. It's just the ring for this. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna have you get your, get your shoulder like in there. Okay. This is man candy right here. Yeah. And then Jay, you're just looking out. You're just looking out there. So girl, when I girlfriend, when I say turn around, you're just gonna turn towards yeah. me, just like that. No. Oh. <laughs> you right? I'm you kidding. you now you g check me. Like this. Sorry. Yeah, just looking back to it, uh, and yeah, just like that. Beautiful. One, two, three, hold that. Sorry, let me get the ball. Ah! Sorry. You're good. Okay, now Jay, hold a kiss on the side of her temple while she's looking back. Girlfriend, close your eyes for this one. Stop it. Keep this overload. Honey, your eyes clean. <laughs> okay. I never know to hold my eyes closed or leave them open when do the pressure kiss. <laughs> Don't it's actually no, the best them. if they're like half open, half closed. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. close them because then you look like a creeper there, if you're like... <laughs> Jay said he's trying to give a foot massage out here. <laughs> give a foot massage. Oh. Or even just like that and then... Yeah, that's pretty. Now, is Olipop y'all's jam? Is yeah, that why we do that? Okay. I might get one more shot of y'all holding the Olipops. Okay. But, uh, what, 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 you know what? Y'all are ready actual, for it. Should we do it? Yeah, with the... Yeah, do a bit of a cheers itch. Just like that. Perfect. And while y'all are doing that, you're just going to be looking at each other, smiling. You'll be a bit blurred out for this. Sorry, I keep bumping you. are good. Hold really that. Good. I got a wide load right now. <laughs> okay, maybe a little kiss in the background. Yas, honey. Okay. Before you, can I get that kiss one more time? Yeah. Hold that, beautiful. And pull back and just look and smile at each other. Uh, brush your hair, there we go. And just looking and smiling, beautiful. One more kiss. <laughs> I can't hold it up. No yeah, problem. right. And stay looking here at me. One, two, three. A little bit more of a smile. Yeah. Right. Hey, why don't you get next to her while she's doing that? <laughs> No, I actually thought that it was gonna happen when we we have like vacations coming up, and I have been planning outfits. I'm like, okay, this one, maybe it will happen then. No, I did not. You did a good job. Also, today I said to you, I'm like, oh wait, we should do a photo shoot soon. You're like, yeah, I gotta go back to. Yeah, we tried to we tried to have some nice smoke screen for you. You did. Yeah. Here and you there. did well. You know, I chose you know make this decision because. I really realized that I couldn't live without her. So, you know, when I realized that and I just, you know, realized how much she completes me, there was a no-brainer to me. <laughs> I love doing life with you. <laughs> I love doing life with you. my son and my daughter.
I thank God so much for putting you both in my life and for putting each of you in each other's life. I'll forever love you. And I wish all God's blessings on each and every day. And I love you very, very much.